Hey guys, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here. And in this video, I wanted to um, ha show you how to fix customize to edit your system strings. That's right, it'll. This really worked for me. Um, it showed no problems after that editing system strings. I don't use it for anything else, but it should work for everything else too. But it worked fine, it saved them successfully. So if you had that error before of like it saying failed, I use this fix and now it works like a charm for me. Um, so what you're going to do is first um, SSH into your iPod Touch, iPhone or iPhone 3G. I have a video out now so go check that out if you don't already know how. Um, so you're going to SSH into your um, device. I'm going to go on to my device. You know how good I am with the camera on my computer. Um, right. Okay. So now I'm in. Alright. Sorry guys. Okay. So now you're going to have my fix. Um, saved somewhere. My customized fix, and you're gonna open up that folder. The folder that says customize fix that you downloaded, you're gonna open that up, and it'll have two folders customize to and customize that app. The first thing you wanna do is go back once and go into your stash folder and go into your application, or you know what, stay in this folder. And you're going to drag and drop customize.app into this folder. And click copy. And click yes to all. And it's just taking a second because it's copying over all the files. And then, once that is done, you're going to go back again on this side. Um, this is your mo um, your VAR folder, and you're gonna go into the mobile folder. You're gonna go into media, not sorry media. Uh, you're gonna go into library, and you're gonna go into the folder that says uh, customize to. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna stay in library, and then take the folder over here that says customize to, and drag and drop it in library and you're going to click copy. Again, click yes to all and it's done. And that is it. You can terminate your session. Um, I'm going to terminate my session. And go back on your iPod Touch. Disable your SSH. Whoa. Disable your SSH because it saves battery. Um, and your customized app should work fine. Now, if this does not work for you, tell me what your results are, what's happening, what your problem is, what it's not doing, and I'll do my best to troubleshoot for you, and I'll personally message you back the issue. Or, guys, or you guys can um, comment on the bottom. Um, uh, put a um, comment on my profile. Um, send me a message. Um, any of that stuff, and I'll try to get back to you if I have a solution. All right, guys, but hopefully that helped. Um, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and I'll see you guys later.